what content signals, i.e. metadata, structured data, content freshness, correlate most strongly with being cited by the AI answer engines? So what things on a piece of content are going to help you get ChatGPT citations? Do you want to take a first crack at that? So this, this, I think this is the big reason why we say SEO is not that much different from AI SEO. It's basically if you're showing up uh, in search engines, high, top, you know, one through 10 positions, that's really how you're going to get cited because uh, these LLMs, they want to save money. So what they're going to do is they're going to scrape a search engine. They're going to go and uh, find something in the top five to 10 results. A lot of these tools will just scrape like the top five pages, which is great because it actually gives you a chance if you're like lower ranking in position five, which uh, traditionally isn't something that people actually click and go to. You can actually get cited a lot easier because you're going to get surfaced uh, by the LLMs. Being able to display data, statistics, facts and figures, things you've learned from like real world experience and, and other people's experiences that they share with you. The AI engines love that stuff. It's basically food for them. And when you have a piece of content on your site that has, you know, data points, facts and figures, statistics up near the top of your content, somewhere in the introduction, especially, that's the kind of stuff that gets swooped up. Because as Andy was saying, the LLM platforms like a ChatGPT, OpenAI, they are incentivized to save costs. 